This is a message going out to PepsiCo, uh, the legendary PepsiCo. I gotta say, I love you guys. I love Mountain Dew. I love Taco Bell. Not really Long John Silver's, but you get the point. Uh, but today, though, we're talking. I want to talk to you guys about your website, your Mountain Dew website, and how you still haven't made it functional in almost a year of opera of year of this. Stupid release on only online flavor. You still don't make them uh, uh, work. I mean, how many we got at this point? We got we got Cake Smash. We've got Flaming Hot. We've got an uh, Courageous Sorbet. And it's Zero Sugar variant. We've got an, uh, this new one coming out. This the Championship Cherry Lime Bullcrap, whatever. Um, all these other... Game fuel and and other crap uh, lineups and stuff like that, and every single time one of them gets released on the Do Store, and they announce it and it happens, the entire website just fucking crashes. Okay, and you can't get any orders in. You can't. You just the website crashes. You can't place an order, and then. By the time you get you you actually get back in, and you can get to the processing. Scalpers have took them all, and then you see them on eBay for one hundred and fifty dollars when they were normally like twenty or thirty dollars, or something like that. And it's just so fucking stupid how many times that this has happened. Um, I mean, you take a look at this. I mean, once or twice, it's fine. Like these are popular flavors, and you hype them up, and people are going to be sitting there waiting for the release. But the fact that he's done it every single time is just disappointing. It's just disappointing. And that's not the only disappointing thing about the website. It's like the crashes. Why is there a certain... Why is this website not so functional? It, there was a website beforehand. Why are you not... Why are you not just doing this so much? I mean, why is this such an issue? It can't be that bad. And then, like, sometimes I'll go into the website, right? I've only never done it once. I did it for Cake Smash, and I don't really like doing it again. Because when I go in and I try and buy the freaking Cake Smash, you know what it said? You know what the frick it said? That they don't send my zip code. I live in the goddamn United States of America. You shipped to my zip code. Like, how do you not ship to my zip code? How? And then, and by the time you even get there, the whole thing crashes anyways. It was sold out like five seconds. How do you even put your payment information and click checkout in five seconds? Maybe that's not entirely you guys' fault. It's probably scalpers who just immediately just have to go, I've set it up where they start it. They just buy the whole stock out, and or as many as they can possibly get in 2.2 milliseconds or whatever, and... Then go scalp them on eBay because that's what I had to do. I go get Cake Smash on eBay for a ridiculous price, like 10 bucks a can, got a six pack, whatever. I don't freaking know. For a birthday cake flavor. And then, and then you have it every time. It just happens. I mean, it's so, so, so annoying. It really is. I mean, it's 2022. A website for a very popular product, especially Mountain Dew. Created by PepsiCo, one of the largest corporations in the entire United States of America. And they can't even... It's 2022! And you can't even create a website that doesn't fucking crash when people try... More than two people try to use it at a time. Because, you know, it's fully functional when people are trying to buy little flaming Hot chairs or, or, or coolers or, or, or hats or whatever. But you buy the actual product, Mountain Dew... Oh, no, no, we're going to crash. Oh, you can't shoot to your zip code. Whoa, yeah, yeah, we're just going to sell it to scalpers and then lose revenue. And it pisses me off even more because they, they go in and, they're, and they're, they're going all in on this thing. Every, like, a, a ton of new flavors have been only put on the new website. If you don't have it fixed, don't put more flavors in until you fix it. <laughs> Send them to stores. So they can sell them there. And I get it, you know, you want to put the six, the, the, the unique 16 ounce cans, you want to put them on uh, on your special site or whatever. I mean, you, but you put Maui Person Dollar General in those 16 ounce cans. Why can't you do it for other stores? 
probably not Dollar General. I don't know why you decided to do that. But other stores, I mean, all those big chains have not going to mall uh, exclusive duty. I think Target's one of the big ones. Meyer, um, I don't know, GameStop, I don't know. Probably not GameStop, but you get what I'm talking about, right? And then at the end of the day, the end of the day, you get these flavors right. The web, you, the websites, you get past somehow, get past the website crash, and you somehow get past the scalpers. You somehow get to where they could ship to your zip code. You finally buy the stuff, and nine times out of ten, you get the drink, and it tastes like shit. It doesn't even taste that good. So you turn around and sell it online anyways. You become a scalper. And it's goddamn it, man. It sucks because they're releasing a lot of these cool looking cans and some pretty cool, awesome stuff. And then. And like. Freaking Flaming Hot's going to stores anyways. You picked the worst flavor out of all of them to send to the stores. God damn it. God damn it, dude. It's so annoying. I mean, you're PepsiCo. Can't you invest in better tech investors and, like, tech developers than, like, people that just got out of the womb? I mean, come on. Who's developing these websites? I could do a better job than that. And I suck at technology. <laughs> so annoying. But anyways, yeah, if if you see a new flavor come out on the juice store, don't even try and buy it. Um, or get, like, one dedicated person to buy it, and then you all get a can, buy them off of them, like I do with uh, Eli, who's a hero and has been able to endure all of that and with lots of patience. Because I sure shit can't. I, I couldn't. Um, but, uh, <sighs> fucking hell, man. Fuck flaming hot too. That's that's that flavor sucks. How it ever got a twelve pack, I don't know. But I'm gonna have to pick one up.